on this episode of We Don't Know What the Hell We're Doing. All right, so if you're unfamiliar with what we're doing, we're currently gonna build like a cabin-ish. It's actually gonna be slightly smaller than our old house, which was a thousand square feet. And it's gonna go where I'm standing here. So, boom. This marker was one of the marks. That's a dog named Bear. Plan is hopefully a couple years from now, we have another house over here, boom, and they, the septic lines are gonna connect towards the tank, which is down here. <laughs> rolls downhill. So, you wanna go down. They're gonna connect to the tank here. And that was buried right over there. Let's go take a look at it. Let's see. All right, so it's gonna connect right here. Why connection? So a septic tank is actually pretty simple. It's basically a tank. Let's see if I can stick this camera down there. Two parts to it. So it'll separate, whatever, do its thing. Oop. Do its thing, liquids will keep going. It's gonna do science things. Then we're gonna connect more pipe. It's gonna go downhill. What's up, friends? So, big news. I got a third trailer. 14 foot utility trailer. Boom! I was thinking about getting one um, for supplies and stuff. It's easier to move things around. And then, when we were the, the hiccup with our well and everything, um, it's like, well, we could do the cistern system. We can have water delivered. Or I can just go pick it up in town. And I wanted another trailer anyways for different things. The problem with this is that the water's probably the water tank's probably gonna stay in there like indefinitely. The tank alone is kinda heavy, it's pretty heavy. Um, we can take it off and take put it on, but it's not like I can do that, like no big deal, like you know, moving tools. So every once in a while I might need to go pick stuff up. A lot of the stuff I'm probably just gonna get delivered. It's so much easier. But we needed a solution for water, and this is it for now. Other news today, so our septic guy was like, yeah, I could start it on Monday, but I might do this uh, motorcycle thing in South Dakota. And I was like, just go do that, man. Go live your life. He's like, I've had a vacation forever. I was like, go freaking go. I was like, go freaking enjoy your life, man. We only have so much time. I don't, I need the septic, but it's not like I need it like tomorrow. Um, and this was Thursday last week so now today he's like yeah if you're gonna be around i'll meet you we'll do this up to today so i guess he didn't do the, the motorcycle thing we had a big rainstorm last night so far our uh drive into our community is not too bad but we'll see when we get to let's go up this hill let's go up this hill i'm telling him. all right wish me luck
so I'm here at the leech field. Big storm coming. Looks like we're gonna take a break for the day. We're gonna have the inspection on tomorrow afternoon. So we should be done by then. After, right after that, we'll be done. Pack it all up. Good to go. This is a norm out here, right here. When you come visit, get used to it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> all right, but tank's installed. They're looking at it now. Let's take a look at it. So today, got a lot of stuff done today. There's a lot going on today. Yeah, my job today was really accepting packages. So we got three deliveries today. Um, the first one was the pipe. Mm -hmm. It came in the morning. So the pipe for mounting the solar panels. That was delivered. Ironically enough, the guys here that were doing the excavation for the uh, septic and the driveway and the house were like, oh man, if you would have told us that uh, you need that pipe, what happened? <laughs> they got it in town. Pipe. Yeah, they got it in town. I was like, Dad, I ordered this from out of town. Anyway, so um, whatever. Second delivery was from Home Depot. Very exciting. So a lot of stuff for the shed, mainly for the shed. Yeah. Mainly for the shed and, and they were, I ordered stuff from for the solar, but they didn't have it in stock. So they canceled that part of the order. And then the last delivery were more solar panels. So, solar panels. Uh, <laughs> the first panels we got while we we're in Florida, same brand, Aptos. Uh, they were 370 watts each. Uh, mono, monofocal. Focal? Mono, monofacial. Facial. Yeah, facial. Monofacial. Facial. Anyways, so uh, the second one is same brand. 440 watts per panel, and they are bifacial. So more news is that they finished the septic, and the inspection, inspection was yeah. good. All um, good to go. Yeah, and then, and then uh, our, they continued on with the driveway. I need to go back down there. I haven't seen what he did down there, but he supposedly leveled it out a little bit. It's gonna be, um, it's gonna take some time and let, until we put gravel, but we gotta compact it. Um, he said he recommends that it's compacted a couple months uh, before you put the gravel. So because if you put the gravel on, it just settles deep in there. I don't know, whatever. I'm like, hey, you're the pro. I've never done this before. I'm gonna take your word. Yep. Whatever so, they say, we'll do. Yeah, he's been doing this for you know way long, longer than I've been alive. So um, I've been alive for a while. Yeah, I think he said he's been doing this for like over 40 years yeah, or something. 50 years. 50 years. Yeah. What's his face? 40 a years. Mouse. A little mouse. Field mouse. Ratatouille. Maybe his house was all like ripped apart. What the heck are you guys doing? I've been here for 10 days. And then the other thing is, which I'm glad he was here because he offered to do the um, excavation. Hey Jess. Excavation for the, the smaller house, the cabin. And Why do you guys walk right in front of the camera? Hey baby. Thanks for all that drool in my arm. I appreciate it. Oh my it. gosh. <laughs> and there's Bear. Bear is not our third dog, by the way. No, we did not get a third dog. Yet. Jez, your whole body's in front of the camera. Get over here. So he offered to excavate the bunkhouse, the small house, um, which is actually, it is a house. The reason why he called it a bunkhouse, you might hear say bunkhouse, is because a bunkhouse, you can have like, you can't have, you can only have two, one, sorry, one house on a property. They want to keep this pretty uh, sparse. They don't want to have a very dense um, community here. If we wanted like two, at least. And in order to get that, you get a bunkhouse. Bunkhouse basically doesn't have a kitchen, which a kitchen would be a stove oven. So take that out, you're good to go. So this right now will be a, the plan is it's gonna be a um, smaller, once one bedroom cabin house. And it will have a kitchen. And then if we do another house, we'll either take this out or we'll connect them and it'll be an addition. It'll just be connected. 
So that's probably what's gonna happen. I don't, we can't think that far right now. We gotta really focus on what we got. We got a lot going on, um, but we do wanna prepare for that. So he gave me some good advice on where to put the house because we, angling it, because um, it'll keep the excavation costs and time down. Excavating it should be helpful for Brian when he starts constructing because otherwise he'd have to go rent some kind of excavator, learn how to use it, learn how to grade and level out the ground and he can do this in like half a day or something <laughs> probably like two hours a couple hours yeah, yeah. it's and a small space so he's probably gonna do it pretty quickly yeah so so sometimes you just pay for expertise yeah for that stuff for that stuff when it comes to like the foundation upon which you're gonna build yeah it's pretty important it's pretty just important. like the utilities are really important yeah so yeah that was today that was today check out the view of where the house would be but just so you know, um, you're like 16 inches off the ground. It's gonna be much higher, <laughs> much higher, much higher. Scrap the mouse. Jess is on the other side. There we go, Jess. Ah! All right, friends. So. We are done. Hooray! Uh, I can't say we. I was mainly like helping out, grabbing tools. If even that, sometimes grabbing a chain, giving my two cents, which isn't very valuable. It's probably less than, probably worth less than two cents. Anyway, so we're done with the driveway saga. Septic is installed. Inspection was good. And before, um, legally, I can't say that we started the construction of the house because we haven't. He, there was just an area where the house may be that was just flattened out a little bit, maybe. Don't tell anybody from the county. It's like something like, um, don't put this part in when I'm thinking.